think we should play Flip the Book. Do you like to pick a number between one, two, or three? Which number would you like? And that tells us which book we're going to look at. Okay. You don't get to see the book. <laughs> it's random. <laughs> three. Three. Okay, so you've actually got your Insight and Awareness book, which is the big one. So you can pick a page number between one and 430. Okay. It's a lot. So mm. the page I'll pick third, uh, my 50. 50? 50? Five zero. Five zero. All right. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four paragraphs. So which paragraph would you like? Four paragraphs. Mm -hmm. Number two. Number two, this is under the heading of resistance, denial, avoidance and codependency. That's the chapter. So when you attempt to deal with your unresolved emotions with more emotions, you perpetuate the soul oppressive cycles and never fully resolve your emotions. True resolution is difficult at times but always doable. I reckon you're a testament to that. When you are consumed with unresolved emotions, you cannot acknowledge the significance of your soul's consciousness, which causes you to miss the opportunity of consciously living in truth. I think your proof that true resolution is difficult at times, but always doable. Because if we look, if if I look at the obstacles you've had, they are unbelievable to me compared to what I've experienced. You know what I mean? Like they're just unbelievable unbelievable to me. So and look where you are. Look how self aware and self reflective you still are. Thank you. Yeah, I think it I think it is. I think, and I think before when you were talking about your resentment and bitterness, that you didn't allow that to stay. You you recognized that as something that you wanted to resolve. You had to do a lot of work to resolve it. <laughs> yep. And it wouldn't have always been easy, but you did. And because you don't feel resentful. No, I'm so glad I don't anymore. Yeah. Oh, resentment's a terrible thing. Actually, in in the another book, which isn't published yet, we we the artist and I drew it with um like uh, uh, like a vine with barbed wire, like thorns. Because every time you turn or you move, resentment attacks you. you wow. Because have... that's what it it's feels like. It's toxic. It's very toxic. Yeah. So, very, very toxic. It's so harmful to the person who's resentful. So then that gets spit out to everybody else around them, even when they're trying not to. Yeah, they said hurt people hurt others. Yeah. They do, and that's why taking self-responsibility is so important. Yes, self-responsibility is very, very important because we're always pointing at others yeah. for what we have done and we never, uh, you know, when, when you take self, when you have self-responsibility, the blame game goes away. <laughs> yes, it does. Yeah, and that's a, that's a very hard thing to do. Because even, you know, you'll have little trippers and you'll, you'll want to blame circumstances or people. But the yeah. reality is, is you've got to come back and go, okay, what was my part in that as well? Right. Yeah. That's where honesty becomes very hard. Yes. And if we yeah. can all do that, especially uh, when it comes to mentality of abusers in domestic violence, I think accountability is very important. If it start to happen, then we, we won't see these cases happening. Maybe not completely, but it will cut down all, some of the issues that are happening with domestic violence. I, and it's hard in domestic violence because people hope, when people enter a relationship, they're hoping it, it's going to keep evolving. No, no one enters a relationship and going, oh, geez, I hope this turns to crap. When people have invested time in a relationship or they're, they're hoping this is a stage, they're, they're trying to be forgiving, we've got misconceptions about what unconditional love is. If I'm, if, I'm, if I'm loving, 
if I'm patient, this this will stop, you know, this will our relationship will improve. So there's all those kind of beliefs that trip people up. They self-manipulate themselves to tolerate a lot of bad behavior. But if you don't know anything different or if it's backfeeding this feeling of low self-worth, not good enough, that can actually hold you there and you don't realize it. So it's such a it's such a complex relationship with your within yourself as to why um oops book foil um as to why people stay in abusive toxic relationships so and it's really it's really it's really hard for some people to get to that place where they can get completely honest with themselves about being in that situation yeah when you are in that situation the of domestic violence and as you say the manipulation i think there are so many factors that plays into it as you said and yeah. it gets very complicated yeah because it's about love the initial thing is love so you're like does he love me or he doesn't love me and yeah. then you have these uh strange questions that doesn't have even answers to it that's it. And and the reality is if someone loves you, they shouldn't be hurting you. But it's, if you don't recognise that, it's it's easy. And then children come involved and, you know, which women try to keep the family together. You know, women do that. And I, I often say to a lot of people that have been through domestic violence, you think you're weak, but you're not. It was your, you know, you there's a strength that you had to, used to try and manage in that abusive relationship now will use that strength to get you on the recovery path and actually into that self-reflective and dealing with the reality of yourself so that you can walk forward out of the experiences instead of dragging them with you. Yes, yes. It took some time, but <laughs> yeah. it, it's a good work. It's worth doing. Yeah, that's a beautiful statement. It is worth doing. Yes. Yes. Well, I want to thank you for being here today. I've really enjoyed talking to you and I hope your path keeps bringing lots of new exciting experiences for you. I hope so too. This has been actually a very nice uh, interview with you, podcast, and you. you are a great person. I, I just love it. Yeah, well, that's brilliant. That's, I'll take that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>